Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. I was just reading this week's uh, edition of Science Magazine and came upon a very interesting article. Now this article dealt with environmental toxicity and risk for dementia. And what this study looked at was the exposure to very small particulate matter, uh, less than 2.5 micrometers, and risk for brain degeneration, risk for dementia. It was a very compelling study that involved looking at um, laboratory animals and their exposure demonstrating uh, that there was increased shrinkage of their brain and increased production of plaque in the brain, uh, which is the type of plaque we see in Alzheimer's disease. The report also looked at a study that demonstrated that individuals who live close to uh, busy streets have a significant increased risk for dementia. Uh, one study that they quoted uh, looked at individuals living in uh, Ontario, Canada, and found that the risk of dementia in people living within 50 meters of a busy street was 10 times greater in comparison to those living uh, 150 meters or more uh, away from a busy street. It also uh, talked about a research study that demonstrated that uh, individuals who are exposed uh, to these small particles uh, by virtue of living uh, near uh, a busy street, had a significant increased risk of brain shrinkage. Now, the mechanisms that they looked at in the study uh, had to do with the induction of inflammation in the brain by uh, particulate matter being inhaled through the nose and actually getting into the brain, one method. The second method was inflammation brought on by uh, uh, when the mucosa, the lining of the nasopharynx, is inflamed by these particles, creating inflammatory chemicals that then are toxic to the brain. And the third mechanism had to do with inflammation in the lungs. I think we're all well aware of the fact that uh, when we breathe in particulate matter in areas that are polluted, the air is polluted, that it does have, uh, it is associated with an increased risk of lung disease. Everyone's pretty dialed in on that. Well, it turns out that that lung situation increases inflammation, and as we all know, inflammation is bad for the brain. So there are three things that go on in the brain, according to this new uh, publication, uh, that uh, are mechanisms that lead to degeneration. First, inflammation. Second, increased production of free radicals, or what we call oxidative stress. And third, the actual induction of, uh, of plaque in the brain, the production of amyloid plaque that we do see is at least associated uh, with the Alzheimer's brain. So the take home message here I think is very clear. And that is that we have to do our very best uh, to avoid polluting, uh, uh, rather being exposed to air that is polluted, that is high in particulate matter. The troubling part of this recommendation is that by and large, the governmental reports that we get about levels of air pollution don't really look at particles that are this small. They look at larger particles, what they call particulate matter. So uh, again, the take home message is probably best if you don't live near a busy street. And if you do, uh, there might be uh, matters like uh, wearing a mask or at least at home installing an air purifying system so that you reduce your exposure. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.